Welcome to episode one of Sab's Creative Corner. My name is Sandra Adeya Yebelo. I'm popularly known as the different woman. Yes, I got the different woman from being, um, from having a status quo problem. Yes, because I have shared my story a couple of times on here and how I always ask the question why, because I want to know and I believe that change is part of our lives. We cannot run away from change. We cannot avoid change. And that's one thing I embrace in my life particularly. And that's one thing I am so happy about. This is the beginning of something so beautiful because it's taken a while to come here. It's taken a while to get here. It's taken a while to be here today. And I'm so happy that we get to do this. We get to see today. The 6th of June, 2023. And yes, I'm opening SAP's Creative Corner. I am a media practitioner. I am a writer. I am a creative. I do a lot of audiovisual productions. And yes, this is... Um, Saps Creative Corner, where I'm looking to grow a community of people, creators and investors alike, a global hub where creators can share, creators can communicate, creators can showcase themselves, while investors can come on here, enjoy some beautiful artworks, and also hire creators to do their jobs. Yes, I studied theater arts and mass communication in school and I've gone on to write a couple of books. I've gone on to um, produce some films and different content, talk shows, podcasts and so on. Yes, so I believe that this is the right time to launch this now because I feel like creators don't get as much representation or we don't have that much representation. I know that this is something that I have struggled with even as a creator because um, I remember writing an article to a newspaper way back when I was in school. My argument majorly was that lawyers get to work in chambers and so on. But thespians, theater artists, we rarely had where to work in. I would walk into a bank and I would see my cosmates, you know, serving at the teller. You know, a lot of these things made me question a lot. I don't think I would just pick up a lab coat today and go into a hospital and start to give, um, you know, medication or prescriptions to anyone. It's not possible. I can't do that. But hey, I've noticed that in the art industry, in the media industry, in the entertainment industry, um, anyone can just wake up and say, hey, I have a talent and yeah, they're good to go. The moment, no one asks you about your qualification. No one cares about your qualification, right? So that's one of the challenges I noticed, I saw early, um, you know, while studying theater arts in school. The fact that Several years ago, I had the same worries like I still do today. The respect, the representation of content creators, of artists, of the artists. Can I be an artist and be respected? Can I be an artist and be taken seriously? Can I be an artist and be paid my dues? Yes, what I am doing is not just fun. I am passionate about it. Yes, I enjoy doing it. I make it look easy, but hey... I am trained to do it. I am trained to do it. And yes, I deserve to be paid because I go to the same marketplace like everyone else. I have bills to pay. So yes, please pay me my dues. That is and has always been my argument for the creator. And yes, it is high time that I did something about it. And that's why today I'm launching Sab's Creative Corner. So, if you are not yet aware, if you don't know yet, Sab is my initial, my name is Sandra Adeya Yebelo, and that's, if you pick out the first letters of each name, it translates to Sab. So, yes, this is my creative corner where we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of um, brainstorming, a lot of conversations, a lot of fundraising, pitch festivals, tutorials, anything at all that concerns the creator. Of course, it's for creators of all kinds, the beginners to the professionals. We're going to be having it all on here. It's a platform for creators. We want to create better representation for the creators in our society. So I want to introduce myself with a poem. What would I be if I don't show you a bit of what I do, right? I am a storyteller. And like I said in my introduction, I already have a couple of um, books written, films that I've done, podcasts, talk shows, and so on. But hey, there is a poem that is so dear to me. I wrote this a couple of years ago. And I want to share this poem with you because it carries um, a deep sense of belonging for me as my father's daughter, as an African girl. Yes, being born and raised as an African girl. The title of this poem is called, I am my father's daughter. 
I am my father's daughter. This poem was exhibited um, in 2018, 2018 at um, the E Pluribus Unum Art Festival. And right now it's part of a collection of poems that I have done called Woman. So here it goes. People tell me I look like my mother. Is it because she's pretty and looks like her mother? Gentle and womanly, in total sync with the society. I have always been a fighter, not a mirror of her. Oh, not the image you had in mind. <laughs> of course, the plan was to make me customary for the society. Yet, when father died, the society, the customs never stood up for me. They chewed me up, spat me out like a bitter pill and tried to wipe me off like a wasted spill. People tell me to read with caution. Oh, because one day I'll become a man's portion. The school I was enrolled was a place to make love potions. They tell me to stay down because the top is not an option. That's how I saw women leave in this region, wholly without vision. This is unquestionably not for me, I thought to myself. How can I be forced to be a woman before I even become a girl? People tell me to bow my head and pray. Take it to God every Sunday, I hear them say. Before my eyes, I saw rape, abuse, utmost pain, attempted suicide, tears and fright, all on display. These pills were hard to swallow, yet I stayed on, like a prey. They screamed at me, girl, give in. You will still bend someday. I heard severally, go get your father to protect you. For my choices, I was broken and subjected to pain. I was given chances to negotiate my principles. I stayed the course, even though I was maimed. Why? Because I was never promised a puff. Bumpy Humpy has always been my journey's song. I have almost seen it all. What more could make it extra rough? The world gives way for the tough, said a friend to me once. So here I stand to introduce me. I am Labake, Tosin Timi, or Sandra simply. I am the proud daughter of a black Yoruba king. I am the child abandoned so young by love and kin. I am the strength and eyes of my family. I have become nature. I am one with the sea. With all of my beautiful scars, I smile and turn up in my shiny chocolate skin. Head high, eyes bright, lips lush and hips plush. I am the girl of your dreams. Like a dress, I wear the sun and the stars. I am nemesis laced with splendor and tricks. I am a warrior, artist and a fragile being. I am a baby, tomboy, woman, wife or lady. I am a complete replica of my father, the alpha me, the power of two to live. I am him. I am me. I am a survivor. I am my father's daughter. That poem is entitled, I am my father's daughter. It's part of a collection of poems that I wrote and the book is called Woman. It's a collection of poems on womanhood and being an African woman.